Okay, we're going to solve the Beaver Creek model using Excel. The first thing we need to do is determine where my X1 and X2 are going to be. Okay, so X1 is the number of bowls. X2 is the number of mugs that they're going to make. Okay, now that's just a label. Remember, the blank cells are your decision variables. Okay, these two blank cells are going to be our decision variables. We're trying to solve for those. Okay, somewhere we need to put in our profit equation, which is 40x1 plus 50x2. So I'm just going to type in a label. Now here we have to put in the formula. So we start with equals 40 times x1 is the cell B8, so click there. Now plus 50 times x2, the cell B9 represents x2. Enter. Okay, it's blank right now because there's nothing in B8 and B9. Okay, the, what's in A is just a label to let you know where that cell is. Okay, so here is our profit cell. Now we have our two constraints that deal with labor and clay. Labor is 1x1 plus 2x2, so equals 1 times x1 is b8, click b8, plus 2 times x2 is the cell b9. Okay, you always start off with equals, and you have to tell Excel to multiply. It doesn't know. Enter. Now that needs to be less than or equal to 40. So in C1, type 40. We also have our clay constraint, which is 4x1 plus 3x2. So equals 4 times x1 is the cell B8 plus 3 times B9. Okay, because it's 3 times x2, and x2 is the cell B9. Enter, and that equals 120. Okay, this x1 and x2 greater than 0, we'll take care of that in a minute. Okay, now when you click data, if you don't have solver, you'll need to watch that first video that talked about how to get solver. Okay. It's different. There's a video on how to do it in Mac, and there's a video on how to do it in Windows. Okay, so you click Solver. Your objective is where you typed the profit equation, which is B11. So click B11. We are maximizing profit by changing variable cells. So click Enter, or click in that box. Drag and highlight B8 and B9. Our constraints, click in the box and click Add. We need B1 to be less than or equal to, click in the box, it needs to be less than or equal to C1. We need to put in our clay constraint, so click Add. B2 is less than or equal to, click in the box, C2. We need to put in that x1 and x2 are bigger than 0, so click Add. Now, x1 and x2 are b8 and b9. So drag and highlight b8 and b9. We need to change this to greater than or equal to 0. Now we're done. We click OK. Click Solve. Click OK. That tells us to make 24 bowls. 8 mugs for a profit of $13.60. And what does this 40 and this 120 mean? We're going to use all 40 hours and all 120 pounds of clay. And that is how to solve the Beaver Creek using Excel.